<clears throat> so let's get started, and some of you are probably wondering why we're doing this again. Well, the answer is simple. I finally got the conflux to work. So here we go, we gotta do all the campaigns again. Griffinbane, years have passed since the death of Duke Pavel. Killed by demons, summoned by the dying wish of the orc shaman Togrul, whose tribe had been slaughtered by the Griffin armies. Now a young man, Pavel's only son, Slava, accompanies his aunt, Svaldana, in the mountains of the Griffin Duchy to investigate signs of a new demon threat. Raised by his aunt, the necromancer Svaldana, after the death of his father when he was only a boy, Slava nonetheless managed to grow up a rash but good-natured young man. Taking up the title of Duke of Griffin when he came of age, Slava now leads a strong house and has five healthy, determined children, who he is certain will do the Griffin name proud. The fact that the eldest one is a bastard born by his first true love, Elizabeth, a woman the Emperor Liam forbid he marry, has pained him greatly. Wars and enmities have taken their toll on him and his legitimate wife, Kate, and he prays to Elrath, the god of light, the dragon of light, that the politicking that is beyond his control will not consume his family. Yeah, they, they misspell a lot of things. The sins of the father are the burdens of the son. Duke Pavel of Griffin. Butcher. Killer of children. Women. Pavel wants blood of my people. Pavel will have blood. Orc blood is kin to demon blood. Torgro calls to demon lords with Torgro blood. Come, children of Ergash. Avenge Torgro! Avenge tribe! Your rage runs deep and strong, Shaman. Your call has been heard and answered. I accept your offering. I am Erebon. The Prince of Hate, champion of the Overlord Urhagal. Your soul now belongs to me. Kill Duke Pavel and lay the duchy to waste. Fill the hearts of your enemies with bitter tears of lust and anger. Slava, you've heard the reports of demons on our borders. What are you waiting for? Come now, Ansveltana. Someone was hitting the ale, saw a fire elemental, and the story grew. There haven't been demons here since Togrel sold his soul two decades ago. You aren't taking your responsibility seriously. It's your duty as a duke to find out the truth and destroy the demons if they're here. Fine. I'll tour the duchy and chase your wild geese. Welcome to the adventure map. Double click on a destination to move your hero and interact with buildings, creatures, or objects. Mouse over to identify these elements and right click to get more info. Demon sightings. Rumors speak of the presence of demons in the mountains northeast of East Alon. Svaldana has brought the young Slava here to teach him what it means to be a Duke of Griffin. Welcome to the battleground. Your creatures stay on the left side with your hero behind to support. The enemy creatures stay on the right side. Unlike your hero, your creatures, your hero cannot move on the map nor be hit directly during combat. But be careful, losing all your creatures will result in a defeat. Each creature on the battleground actually represents a stack of creatures of the same type. The size of the stack being indicated by the counter just to the side. If the first turn of the battle, it is the first turn of the battle. In each turn, the creatures perform their actions on the battleground in a given order. In this battle, the enemy creatures move first. The initiative bar shows the creatures in the order that they may act. Creature order is influenced by their initiative value. Enemy creatures have just acted. Now it's your crossbowman's turn to act. These units can perform long range attacks. Left click on an enemy creature with a crossbowman. Now it's the turn of your sentinels. These units can perform melee attacks. Left click on an enemy to move and attack with your sentinels. Note that you can also perform an attack with your hero during a turn, but only once, and just before one of your creature's actions. Your hero's attack button can be found on the command panel at the lower right of the screen. The loss is easy. But 
defeating enemies, your hero gets experience points. When reaching a certain amount of EXP, your hero will level up and become strong. You've just found ore, one of the four resources that you can collect. Hey, Paradox. I mean, this is a really fun game. So, I wouldn't say at least it's not Heroes 5. I would say, honestly, it's better than most of them. Wood, crystal, ore, and gold are the four collectible resources that will enable you to purchase more creatures, as well as build new structures in, the, in your towns and purchase various items. There is an artifact in front of your hero. Artifacts can be equipped <coughs> and used by your heroes. They increase certain attributes of the heroes and their armies, and sometimes they grant additional bonuses. Double-click on this artifact to pick it up by your hero. The four leaf clover has been added to your hero's inventory. The inventory is located in the hero window. You can open the win hero window by double clicking on the portrait of your hero at the bottom of the screen. This is the portrait of your hero. Double click on it to open the inventory. This is the hero information panel, where the experience bar and the attributes of your hero can be seen. You can get more info on each attribute by moving the cursor above it. Know that the hero's attributes modify the attributes of the creatures in the army. The artifact you just picked up is automatically equipped by your hero. As long as they are equipped, artifacts grant certain bonuses. Move your cursor above the icon of the artifact to get more info on it. This is the inventory of your hero. All items that are currently unused by your hero are stored here. You can move items between the inventory and the hero's item slots by drag and drop. This is the army of your hero. During your adventures, you will find numerous different buildings on the adventure map. As you will learn, each building has a unique effect. Some increase certain attributes of your heroes or creatures. Others provide you with other hero bonuses. This building on the left is a weaponsmith. Double left click on it to visit it with your hero. You've just visited the weaponsmith. The might attack of your hero has been increased by plus one permanently. Your hero has no more movement points left. Press the button to end the turn. Remember Togol's lover. Remember that his vengeance cost your father his life. If there are demons out there, find them. Start nearby. Check every copse, every hamlet. See. The issue I had was I couldn't connect to the conflux, and I fixed that, so now I don't have any issues. I'm good. You just found gold, one of the four resources you can collect. Press this button to retreat without starting the battle. It's like... As you already know, your heroes can perform actions once in every turn. Besides the hero attack that you were taught in the previous battle, your heroes can also use spells and might abilities from their spellbook. The spellbook button can be found on the command panel at the lower right corner of the screen. This is the spellbook button of your hero. Press it to open the spell book. This is an active ability that your hero has already learned. It grants bonuses to your creatures for a certain period of time. Left click on the icon and then left click on one of your creatures to activate it. I'll pass. You can get detailed information on your creatures as well as enemy creatures by right clicking. Change the direction of your melee attacks. Move the attack cursor around the enemy creature and you will see that the cursor changes accordingly. Try to attack with your sentinels from a different angle. tutorial again? Yeah, because we got the complex to You've just found wood, one of the four resources you can collect. 
There is a sawmill in front of your hero. If you control a sawmill, it provides you with plus one wood every day. This sawmill is controlled by no one. This is indicated by the gray neutral flag above it. Double left click on the sawmill to get control over it with your hero. You just captured a sawmill. From now on, it will provide you with plus one wood per day. Welcome to Pleasant Valley. This valley has known better centuries. One might wonder whether its original inhabitants gave it its name in order to attract foolhardy settlers, rather than describe its harsh surroundings. Perhaps they named it for what it might become in the future, with a thousand barrels of sweat and a little help from a powerful earth magic druid. Some loyal troops stand in your way. Move the cursor above them, and then press and hold the right mouse button to get detailed information on them. Diplomat 1! Let's go! Achievement unlocked. New creatures have joined your army. You can view them in the hero window. Double click on the portrait of your hero to open the hero window. Sveltana was right. They're here fighting against orcs. What are orcs doing? Go, Blue. Tell your mistress if she doesn't already know. Ah! Better hurry if you want a piece of these demons. On you. I'm not waiting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The side of the battleground on which your creatures start the battle depends on who attacks who. If you are the attacker, your creatures start on the left side. Here you are the one who were attacked by these terrible demons, so your creatures are on the right side of the battlefield. Don't forget that your hero can act once in every turn. Press either the attack button or the spell button. Besides their passive abilities, some creatures can also use active abilities during their turn. Press this button to use the heal active ability of the priestess. Then select one of your injured creatures to be healed. Thanks. This is the defend button. Press it when you think it's better to defend than to perform an action with your creature. It skips the action of the creature for the current turn, but grants it additional defense. May Father Sky light your way. I am Sveltana, regent of the Gryffindushi. This is Duke Slava, son of Pavel. Hmm. May Mother Earth give you strength. I am Kral, war chief of White Spear Clan from Red School Island. How does regent know or greeting? I know your customs better than you know ours. By what right do you cross our lands? Demon raiders attacked tribe, kidnapped powerful shaman, Elder Ula. Demon leader calls himself Togru, Pavel's bane. <laughs> Orcs follow trail to this place. We know this, Togo. He caused us a great deal of grief. If you come for his bones, know that they were broken, cleansed, and scattered. Togo. Ah. Togo's spirit has returned, twisted, corrupted by fires of Sheok. Warchief Kral, we have a common enemy. Perhaps we should join forces. Hmm. Orcs will discuss. Aunt Sveltana, what are you annoyed about? You spoke without counsel, without thinking. I made a suggestion. 
Beggars and prostitutes make suggestions. A duke does not suggest, he decides. Oh, come now. What about diplomacy? They are walking on your soil, living off your lands. The time for diplomacy is long past. Don't trust people so easily, Slava. Especially orcs. But now you've made an offer and must keep your word. Well, good luck. I must stay and guard the castle. By leveling up, your hero has been given a free ability point. You can spend this point on the ability tree that can be found in the hero window. Double click on the portrait of your hero to open the hero window. Hover the mouse <coughs> cursor over the icons of the abilities to get info on them. Left click on the desired ability, then left click on the green tick to learn it. The hero window consists of separate panels. You already know the hero information panel. The one you see now is the ability tree panel, and this is its button. You can switch between the panels by left clicking on their buttons. The town is being attacked by the demonic hordes. Double click on its entrance to fight the attackers and liberate the town. Your sentinel have good morale. It's the crossbow. It means that they will act twice the current turn. Note that during the second action, they'll be able to move less and inflict less damage. This is the wait button. Press it to order your priestesses to wait and act later in the turn. Next, we take that. Krom, my scouts have sighted a succubus near the mines. Succubus? Ah! Humans who give soul to Urgash, like Togro. Kill her! Wait, Kral. I don't want to lose troops for no reason. Let's at least draw up the battle plan. Ah, uh, okay. Grab weapons, then attack. See? Good plan. Enter the captured town with the hero by clicking on the entrance twice. Infernal Hero. An enemy hero has, been, has captured the mines located to the south. Slava must defeat this demon commander and recapture the mines. Defeat the Inferno Hero and capture the mines located. This is the building tree of your town. Currently only one building can be raised here, but later on you will have access to many other buildings as well. Left click on this icon and then on the green tick to raise the building. Select this tab to recruit units in your armies. All available creatures can be recruited by pressing this button. This is the creature pool. It represents the creatures available for hire in your kingdom, in your whole kingdom. However, they can only be recruited in towns where the corresponding building is built or controlled. The freshly recruited units are now in the garrison and can be, a and can be added to your hero's army by dragging and dropping them into a visiting slot. Press this button to open your spell book and see your hero's spells. The abilities of your hero fall into three different categories, Tears, Balance, and Blood. The fourth tab on the right contains all abilities in the three, uh, in the three categories on the same page. Some abilities can, may only be used in combat, while others can be cast on the adventure map. The gray icons on the minimap represent resource sites that are controlled by no one. Capture them and receive the resources to receive the resources they produce.
The movement gauge displays the remaining movement points of your hero. This button allows you to resume your hero's movement on the current path. Old Griffin Bridge. This signpost overlooks a very old stone bridge, certainly built centuries ago. There are beautiful statues carved into its railing, representing the dragon god of air, Elath, numerous griffins, and ancient heroes of the Griffin clan. Ishvan's Griffin's likeness can be Ishvan Griffin's likeness can be found amongst them. Old bridge, old spirits. What's over there? A mausoleum. We used to bury our ancestors in the mountains where the griffins nest. Hmm. Why used to bury? Why not now? Ha! We've become more farmers than hunters. The lands beyond that bridge are mountainous and harsh. Besides, we converted to Elrath, the Dragon of Light. Since then, we bury our dukes in the Hall of Heroes in the heart of the Holy Empire. Griffin people changed their god? Yes. Back then, we worshipped Elath, the Dragon of Air. Dragon of Air or Dragon of Light, Wind or Sun. Both dragons are faces of Father Sky. Maybe Griffin people not so different from orcs. <laughs> Don't let my aunt hear that. Oh, 25% growth for all core creatures. The population of creatures increases at the beginning of each week. New units can be recruited in your town. Every week, enemy armies become stronger. If you spend too much time on a map without progressing, you may encounter enemies which you cannot defeat. Do be like that, though. Combat log lists the past events of the current battle. Left click on the icon or the text next to it to open the extended combat log. Impressive general. Win five combats in a row with your main hero. Hell yeah. Ah! Easy. Yes, she said never trust Two more. achievements down, 233 to go. 253 to go. I need something to improve the troops' morale. What unit are the ladies? Vestrals. Ah! 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 They heal. Music? A song? Hmm. Maybe. As we learned in the Cure campaign, there is a good use for them. Tell your orcs to keep their position. If we're attacked, we'll never have time to form up. My orcs? Crawl doesn't own orcs. Orcs are not slaves. Orcs are free you know elves. I mean. In time of war, you need discipline. <laughs> Slava. What does little baby Tim Dynasty know Slava. About war? Only courage is important. Lines, order, formations, not orc way. Just make sure they're ready if we're attacked. Ready? Orcs born ready to fight demons.
We're saving the rest of the level ups for the next scenario. Danger! Rockfall hazard. This sign delimits the edge of an impressive stone quarry, where a careless step could definitely speed up a person's final rendezvous with Asha. There are traces of fighting around the signpost, and the bodies of a few accidental victims can be made out below in the bottom of the quarry. Careful, an enemy hero is nearby. An enemy enemy heroes can explore the map and become stronger every day, just like your heroes. They may also attack if they see you. Just found a crystal. Four resources in the region. And here they go. Are you Togrel? Do I look like an orc? <laughs> Honestly, young man. Where is Togrel hiding? Where did he take Ula? Please. Are you telling me your scouts can't track a demon army? Let Crawl question demon. Crawl knows how to get answers. I will not become a demon in order to defeat them. And the only answer you'll get from a succubus is a web of convincing lies. <laughs> Slava thinks with heart, then pretends to think with head. Yeah, Griffin not so different from Orc. <laughs> Be careful! In this hero, enemy creatures take orders from a hero. Like your own hero, enemy heroes can use abilities, but you cannot be hit, but cannot be hit directly. You'll still need to destroy all the enemy creatures in order to. Togro brought Elder Ula here for a reason. If we can figure out why, we could guess where he is. Kral, why would a vengeful orc need a shaman? Makes no sense. Togro demon now, not orc. Cannot call on ancestors. Ancestors are enraged with Togro. Could he force Ula to torment my ancestors? Mm. If Togro angers spirits of Griffin, Slava and Slava's children will be weakened. That must be it. He's going to our family's mausoleum, but no one's been buried there for ages. Damon Blood. Kral's stories were true. The leader of the Infernal Armies is indeed the renegade shaman Togrel, now a cursed servant of the legions of Shao. Togrel holds the mausoleum of the Griffin family and defiles the sacred place. Slava must defeat Togrel and restore the sanctity of the mausoleum.
Continue underground to reach the other side of the tunnels. Thanks to Togrel, these caves are now haunted by the angry ghosts of my ancestors. How in the name of Elrond do I fix that? Father, I barely knew you, but I can't say that your passage on a shot left a lasting impression. Press this button to switch between the surface and underground maps. The Horn. Humans and orcs have trouble fighting together, and morale is low. To improve things, Slava should seek the old artifact known as the War Horn of Legion. The sound of this dwarven Oliphant will lift the spirits of any warrior. Journey through the dark. Now that the wolves are back on the workers are back on the mines, they clear the path leading to the underground tunnels. This shortcut will prove handy in reaching the mausoleum of the Griffin family on the other side of the mountains. Press the auto combat button. Let the AI have some fun. Preemptive one. In one turn, destroy at least three enemy creature stacks before they act. Hell yeah. Right. Plus one. Leadership elite creature production is increased by one per one. Nice horn. Can Slava blow it? Give troops any courage to Father Sky. Maybe. If we're lucky, it'll raise the army's spirits. Hmm. How you know? Would you believe a little bird told me? Quest complete. Betrays orcs, fights with Griffin. Betrayer calls me betrayer. <laughs> Togrel is worse, becomes demon, greatest enemy of orcs. Where is Ula, Togrel? It's me that you want, not her. <laughs> Togrel will have you all, son of Pavel. Griffin took everything family, tribe, home. Now Togrel is Griffin Bane. Click and hold over elements for elements for additional information. Ten combats. I did that. Powerful magic. Humans have so many artifacts. Can bury them with dead? What better way to honor them? The sword doesn't make the man. It's the man who makes the sword. 
ancestors better remembered when sword fights in hands of their children. When Crawl swings blade, strength of father swings with me. Crawl is edge. Ancestors are iron. Get artifacts, Lava. Ancestors don't need them. I pity you, Togrel. Even if I kill you, you'll just be sent back to Sheog to be reshaped anew and come back to hunt us until every last griffin lies dead. I have to bring peace to my lands and your soul once and for all. It's true. That's exactly what I want. Winter Wind Peace Circle Would be helping me increase my weekly creature code. But I'm not gonna buy that. Combat one turn, let's go! Duke Ishvan? Is that you? Why? Told ancestor, Slava is good Duke, follows heart, gives honor to Father Sky, even when speaking of Elroth. 
Beware Elrath and his pompous angels. I died fighting that feather-loving fanatic Brian Falcon, who was trying to impose the worship of his blasted holy light on our clan. Duke Istvan, you may rest in peace. It is my duty to protect our lands. Whether our people pray to the air or light, they are safe here. It's bad enough having Aunt Sveltana on my back. Now there's a great-great-grandfather spewing ominous warnings. Double click of the subterranean gate to exit the underground tunnel. So what was your theory? We'll see if it matches what I ended up doing. Togrel! Free Ula, or I'll put your soul in a pigskin flask and drop it in the castle's latrine. <laughs> Hollow threats! Empty like Tabo's heart. Tonight, Togrel sleeps in old gripping bones. Tomorrow, feasts on new ones. You'll find it's hard to gorge yourself without a head. Togrel, you've desecrated the graves of my ancestors. I swear by Elrath that I'll restore them to their glory. Oh, no, I actually had tried that before, it didn't work. Town has fortifications. You'll need to breach them before you can destroy the defending creatures. Ranged attacks are going to be decisive in this battle. Town walls and towers can be attacked and destroyed by both catapults and units.
Gotcha, bitch. Capture all the buildings on the map in a game. Hell yeah. Double click the mausoleum to open the town window. Click on this tab to open the town conversion panel. Or I could level it up. Hey, Minisk. Yes, we have connected to the Conflux. We've started the campaigns over again, but it's better now than ever. Boom. Uh... We've restored the mausoleum. Strange that the priests taught me nothing of the Dukesbury here. Not good. Griffin should come here. Honor Griffin Fathers. Good place. Spirit of Father Sky is strong. Kral, how is Ula? Strong spirit. We'll see many more summers, but Ula won't go home. Too many orcs die here. Ula walks with their spirits to show them the way to Mother Earth. Why don't you all stay? These lands are harsh, but there's like plenty the game. of game. It's a fun game. Regent Sveltana won't be happy. The Duke has decided. If you accept my offer, you have my word. Done. Orcs stay with Ula. Crawl and Slava will hunt together. Promise me you won't hunt Griffin. Bears, wolves, deer, anything else you want. <laughs> Crawl promises. Orcs never hunt Griffins. Especially ones with two legs. Slava brings up his horse slowly to meet his aunt and regent. Sveltana is taking in a beautiful view of the Duchy of Griffin, the very place where a tremendous battle once took place. That had cost her brother Pavel his life. Her eyes seem to have grown darker since the last time Slava saw her. Her shoulders down his shoulders downtrodden, resembling a puppy with his tail between his legs. He awaits patiently her first. You just offered a tribe of wandering orcs a few hundred acres of our ancestral lands? Ah! Aunt Sveltana, Kral is not just any orc. He's also a friend. It was the right thing to do. You made a decision, followed your heart, chose your path. Hmm, I think it's time I gave you this. My father's sword. Not just your father's sword, Slava, the ancestral sword of the Griffin. It carries the story of every Griffin Duke that ever held it. You are the point of the sword, but our dynasty is its matter. Thank you, Aunt Sveltana. You should really meet Kral. You two have a lot in common. Sword of the Griffin! Weapon Master. Action complete. Obtain the Sword of the Griffin. Back to basics. Complete the first chapter of the prologue. Spirit. Complete a campaign map reaching at least a Spirit rank. Rank award it depends on your total score and the difficulty level. Veteran. Complete a campaign map reaching at least Veteran rank. Champion. Complete a campaign map reaching at least Champion rank. Hero. Complete a campaign map reaching the hero rank. Hell yeah. Look at all those achievements we unlocked. Yeah! Total score, 66,832. 101% expertise! Woo! And somehow only 50% completion. 